بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which will be the conversation in the intro unit but first let's revise what we took previously in the listen and discuss if you remember we took the paper versus e-book debate e stands for electronic book of course then we uh, argued about TV around the world whether it's better to watch cable TV or a subscription via the internet TV let's say then we discussed the unusual buildings like this uh, picture here the clock tower in Mecca and working days if you are used to a routine then you cut this routine what would you feel then we took the going green article about the catastrophes, the nature catastrophes. Then we took the eco tourism. Then we learned some new word meanings. The word debate, a discussion between two people. Try to give your opinion and take the, uh, your friend's opinion. This is a debate. An integral part of life. Integral means very important and necessary. Uh, the third one, a location that lends itself to activities. Lends itself means that it's good or suitable for. Funds, funds means money. Funds means having money. Conservation, the protection of animals, plants, and natural resources. The protection of the environment, including animals, plants and natural resources cable television from the uh, from the words themselves cable television using cables a system in which television signals are sent through cables discontinue the prefix uh, the prefix this then continue so it means to end the continuation so it means the end Subscription, an agreement with a company or organization to get a publication or service regularly and that you usually pay for in advance. Usually, usually, not always usually. So sometimes you get the subscription for free. Continuing on demand viewing, on demand from the term itself, available when I need it. Retirement, retirement, the end of your career, the end of your uh, working days, timely, happening at the correct, most useful time, prevent the implementation, stop the practice or the use. Then we took the expressing, how to express your opinion, feelings, preferences, and how to agree and disagree with something. You say, what do you think of? What do you think of? You're asking for an opinion. You say, I think it's interesting or an amazing in achievement. The other question, what's your view on? Another way to, to ask for an opinion. I'm not sure. I can see why. I can see why, but I can't see eye to eye. When you say I can't see eye to eye, it means I don't agree with this point of view. Or uh, when you say we're on the same page, it means that we, uh, we understand each other. I see your opinion, but when you say I see your opinion, I understand what you're saying, but now you give your point of view, maybe it's the exact opposite. You give an opposite point of view, but you say, I understand why you said this thing. Uh, which would you choose? I prefer, preferation, it means to choose. I think I'd opt for, etc. So continuing with the revision, expression meanings, we're on the same page here as I told you before. Total agreement, I see your point. I don't think it's worth considering different option. Explain that we use this expression to express tentative agreement or disagreement. I think I'd opt for, opt, it means choose. So let's begin today's lesson. Let's begin today's lesson. What do you see in this picture? What do you see? This is a picture of what? Yes, very good. It's very obvious. It's a picture of a library. Have you ever been to a library? Do you have a library at school or, or maybe at home? So think about libraries. What can people do there? Libraries, when you go to a library, what do you do? What do people think about? What do people usually go there to do? Of course, they go there usually to uh, do research, to read some books. Do you have a library in your school? 
as I asked you before, do you have a library at, at your school? Is it a lending library? Does it lend books to you? Can you borrow books from them? What's the meaning of lending? People can borrow books at a lending library and return them after a set period of time. So you don't, you don't take the book for yourself, you take it for a period of time and then you return it. So do you have a library at school? Mostly yes. Is it a lending library? Can you take some books and after one or two or three days you can give it back to the library? If, it's, if, if that's the story then it's uh, good for you. Do you have modern equipment in your library? Can you give me an example of some modern equipment that you have in your school's library? Okay, let me give you some examples. Do you have a printer? Of course you have a printer in your library. Do you have a computer? Very good, of course there's a computer or maybe a copying machine copying machine where you can copy your papers. Maybe you have maybe a 3D printer as we have in our school, maybe a 3D printer. So, and other modern equipment. Of course, maybe you have more. So here's a conversation between a librarian and Hashim. Let's listen to the conversation. Then we will just discuss a little bit about it. Let's listen. Can I help you? Could you please tell me where I can find biology books and research documents? What exactly are you looking for? It's about a science project and I need to gather information in order to create a timeline for biological research over the last six years or so. I see. That must be interesting. It can't be easy to collect all the information and choose the key items you need, but I'm sure you'll manage. Go to aisle five and look up the biology section. I'm sure you'll find what you need. I hope so. Thank you for your help. One more thing. The research documents are in the reference section. You have to sign and get a key. You can look up what you need and read documents in the reference section, but you mustn't take anything out. Can I photocopy any pages? You'll have to check with me first. You're not allowed to photocopy old manuscripts. I understand. Thanks again. So this is a conversation between a librarian and a boy named Hashim. Could you please tell me where I can find biology books and research documents? So he has a research regarding the uh, biology uh, subject. So she asked him or he asked him, what exactly are you looking for? He explained it's about a science project. Then he elaborated. Then the librarian said, I see, I see. What's the meaning of this word, I see? Yes, very good. It means I understand. When you understand someone, you say, I see, I understand, I know now, what do you want? I see, that must be interesting. It can't be easy to collect all the information and choose the key item, the key items you need, but I'm sure you'll manage. I'm sure you'll manage. It means that I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. You will know what to do. So let's continue the uh, conversation about an hour later. So about an hour later from the previous conversation, this is what happened between Ali and Hashim. Let's listen. I've noticed you have to use a whole pile of books. Are you doing research? Yes, I'm trying to but I'm not sure I can do it within the deadline. I'll need to spend days in the library reading and making notes. Don't you worry. Of course you'll make it. It seems impossible at first, but you'll get used to it. With searching online or using ebooks help, that would be awesome, but all the computers are taken. No, not really. How about using this one? I'm just about to leave. Are you sure? Absolutely. I'll let the librarian know on my way out. You'd better move over right away before someone else takes it. Here, I'll help you move your things. Thanks a lot. I owe you big time. Not at all. I'm sure you'd do the same. So an hour later, Ali, Hashim's friend, said, I've noticed you have to use a whole pile of books. A whole pile of books. What's the meaning of the word pile? Pile. Are there few books or lots of books? Yes, that's correct. A pile means lots of 
things a whole pile of books are you doing research so he was curi uh, curious he found a pile of books so of course Hashim is doing research he said yes I'm trying to but I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure I can do it within the deadline so there's a deadline and Hashim wants to deliver the uh, research before the deadline I'm not sure I can do it within the deadline I'll need to spend days in the library reading and making notes so Ali said, don't worry, of course you'll make it. He's encouraging him. It seems impossible at first, but you'll get used to it. Would searching online or using ebooks help? Hashim replied, that would be awesome, but all the computers are taken. Then Ali mentioned there's an MTC to the computer. How about using this one? I'm just about to leave. He said, I'm just about to leave. It means take my place I'm just about to leave are you sure absolutely I'll let the, uh, the, the librarian know on my way out we'd better move over right away thanks a lot he did him a favor he said thanks a lot and then what did he reply for not at all not at all it means you don't have to thank me because we are friends so what kind of books and documents is Hashim looking for what kinds of books and documents is Hashim looking for. Can you remember? Very good. Biology books and research documents. Biology books and research documents. Which section of the library are the documents in? Which section? Which section of the library? Which part? of the library are the documents in where are the documents in which part of the library in which section very good the reference section how about the third question why do you think Ali knows more about how things are done why do you think Ali knows more about how things are done he is an older He's older, more experienced student. He's an older, more experienced student. So he's more experienced, he's older. That's why he is trying to instruct Hashem about what to do. So this is the uh, uh, conversation again. Now you know all the information. Let's listen to it again and pay attention to the details. Let's listen again. Can I help you? Could you please tell me where I can find biology books and research documents? What exactly are you looking for? It's about a science project and I need to gather information in order to create a timeline for biological research over the last six years or so. I see. That must be interesting. It can't be easy to collect all the information and choose the key items you need, but I'm sure you'll manage. Go to aisle 5 and look up the biology section. I'm sure you'll find what you need. I hope so. Thank you for your help. One more thing. The research documents are in the reference section. You have to sign and get a key. You can look up what you need and read documents in the reference section, but you mustn't take anything out. Can I photocopy any pages? You'll have to check with me first. You're not allowed to photocopy old manuscripts. I understand. Thanks again. So the librarian said, what exactly are you looking for? What are you looking for? What's the meaning of looking for? When I ask you, what are you looking for? Yes, that's correct. It means, what are you searching for? When you look for something, it means that you are searching for something. What are you looking for? What exactly, exactly? To be more specific, what exactly, give me the specific information, what exactly are you looking for? It's about a science uh, project. And then, she, uh, then the librarian said, I see, that must be interesting. What's the meaning of the word aisle? The word aisle. You know, when you go to a library and the librarian said it's an aisle one, two, three. What's the meaning of the word aisle? And remember, there's a silent S. Very good. It means a path, the path between the books, uh, the aisle one or aisle two, aisle three, aisle four, etc. 
So continuing here an hour later, Ali and Hashim, let's listen. I've noticed you have to use a whole pile of books. Are you doing research? Yes, I'm trying to, but I'm not sure I can do it within the deadline. I'll need to spend days in the library reading and making notes. Don't you worry. Of course you'll make it. It seems impossible at first, but you'll get used to it. With searching online or using ebooks help, that would be awesome. But all the computers are taken. No, not really. How about using this one? I'm just about to leave. Are you sure? Absolutely. I'll let the librarian know on my way out. You'd better move over right away before someone else takes it. Here, I'll help you move your things. Thanks a lot. I owe you big time. Not at all. I'm sure you'd do the same. You see, in the ending, uh, Hashem said to his friend, thanks, I owe you big time. I owe you big time. What does this saying mean, I owe you big time? Yes, you say it when someone uh, does a big favor to you and you say, I owe you. I owe you big time. It means, hopefully later, I will do the same good deed to you. I owe you big time. And what did Ali say? Not at all. I'm sure you do the same for me. Not at all. Don't mention it. I'm sure you'll do the same for me. So here's the box for asking for and giving information or instructions. Information and instructions, how to ask for them and how to give them. So let's begin. Could you please tell me where I can? This is asking for information, obviously. Where the is, where the documents are, where the book is, etc. Asking for information. Go to aisle 5. This is the answer. They give, go to aisle 5 and or walk down aisle 3 and turn right. So this is asking for information and after the question is giving information. What exactly are you looking, are you looking for? What exactly are you looking for? As I previously said, this is asking for specific information. Information, data, it's a project that I need. Asking for permission. Asking for permission. When you want to use something, before you use it, you ask for its owner's permission. Can I photocopy? You say, you say can I? Then the verb. Can I go? Can I sit? Can I speak? Etc. This is asking for permission. Am I allowed to? Is it all right if I? Am I allowed to go? Am I allowed to speak? Is it all right if I speak, if I go, etc. This is asking for permission. Obligation, ability, and prohibition. You have to or need to sign. You have to or need to sign. This is an obligation. You must do it. If you want to do this, you have to do that. If you want to take a book, you have to sign, etc. This is an uh, obligation. You mustn't take anything. You mustn't take anything out or touch anything, etc. So this, this is a prohibition. Things you are not allowed to do. Things that you are not allowed to do. You are prohibited to do. You mustn't do that. You mustn't do that. You mustn't take anything. You mustn't touch anything. You are not allowed to. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to speak when the teacher is speaking. This is a prohibition. So prohibition means things you are not allowed to do. Now it's your turn. Your turn. Role play a conversation like the one above with a partner. Use phrases from the books. The conversation that we just read between uh, Hashim and Ali and the librarian. I want you to role play the conversation, you and your friend, and once you're done, try to switch roles. And remember to use the phrases from the books. Could you please tell me where I can? It doesn't have to be a library. You can change the uh, setting. Also learn that the alternative expressions. For example, you have to sign. You have to sign. 
you can say you need to sign have to or need to you mustn't take anything out can be replaced by you are not allowed to so you mustn't or you are not allowed to are the same or have the same meaning you can use the same context for example the student librarian and uh, at the library with your friend or or you can choose different setting different context like with your friend of course like a bank or a library or a museum and you can choose different roles you can be instead of a librarian a banker and etc and here we listen to each other and respond as naturally as possible while role playing listen to each other remember to listen to each other and act as natural as possible don't worry about mistakes don't worry about mistakes you're a student you can make mistakes it's okay don't worry about mistakes during the role play focus on the meaning and the communication focus on the meaning and the communication don't worry about the mistakes and that's it for today see you next lesson inshallah subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum